Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. This is Bring It In The House podcast show, where we spotlight musicians, entertainers, artists, and leaders. And of course, I'm your host, Millie Mills. We have a great, exciting show for you. We have the Marvel High School class of 1983, celebrating the 40-year class reunion. 40 years. Can you believe it? Congratulations on all your success to the class of 1983. A lot of great things happened that year. We're going to take a look back in history, <laughs> so to speak, you know. But um, seriously, uh, I got a chance to attend my first class reunion. I, I haven't been able to make it all these years, and I finally did it, and it was great. Let's take a look at some of the pictures, okay, that I was able to um, collect. Now, Darlene Owens, my classmate, she was taking most of these pictures. So let's take a look now. They're gorgeous. Now, this is from my own cell phone. Okay, on the left side is my classmate and cousin, Michelle Mackey. And let's go to the next as a key speaker for the night, Miss Rhonda Davis. Now, Rhonda is successful with the federal government. She is head of uh, Civil and Equity Rights Division. Go, Rhonda. And here's a little brochure here, taking a look back of what happened in history in 1983. What kind of clothes we were wearing, uh, what was on the radio, what was uh, playing in the theaters and things like that, what was on TV in 1983. Here's another class photo at the banquet that night. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. That's a group picture of the class. I'm not in that one. I think I was late getting there. <laughs> okay, look at the Hershey Kisses. Yeah, the class of 83, 40 years celebrating. That's so beautiful. Then we stopped and took a moment of silence for our classmates who have gone on before us in loving memories. Yeah, this was very a beautiful moment here. We miss and love you so much. Our classmates include who have gone on, Laverne Hope, Douglas Ivory, Willie Jones, Melvin Morris, um, Dennis Nelson, Brenda O'Neill, Barry Scaife, Sandra Thomas, Stormy Turner, Billy Wright, and Delton Young. And since that um, occasion, we've had another classmate to leave us, Miss Gilda Banks. Rest in peace and prayers and condolences to your family. All right. Here's some more pictures you don't want to miss out on. These are the girls from left to right. Michelle Mackey. There's Mary, Linda, Tanita Boyd, Martha Covington, Jacqueline Woods, Darlene, Beverly, Denise, and Diane. Here are the guys from left to right. There's Clarence, Lonnie, Clarence Phillips, Leonard Marshall, Raleigh Coleman, and Viotis Guest. There's a group picture. And there's another group picture of the girls. Yeah, double shot. Another picture of the guys. Here's Darlene and Clarence Watson. We call him Ean. That's Clarence. Well, that's me and uh, Darlene. <laughs> okay, Darlene and, and Myra Williams. Darlene and Raleigh Coleman. Darlene and Martha Washington, and Darlene and Tanita Boyd. Woo! Beautiful, beautiful pictures. Yes. So we're going to um, take a moment now and, and go to some of the live footage we were able to capture just for this special occasion. Once again, I'm your host, Millie Mills, for Bring It In The House. We're celebrating 40-year class reunion for Marvel High School class of 1983. Hello, guys. Welcome to the show. This is Bring It In House, where we spotlight musicians, entertainers, artists, and leaders. We have a bunch of leaders in the house. This is our 40th year class reunion in Marvel, Arkansas. And I have one of my classmates here, Miss Diane Fairfield Sims, in his house. Yes, I am. 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 Yes, I am.
for the class of 1983 to actually come together as a whole. And this year, I think we had more participants participating, and it's a, th these has been some exciting days. Exciting days. We had classmates coming from everywhere, and like like she says, it's just a blessing to be here. It doesn't feel like 40 years. Right, right, right. Yeah, we're all still doing. You no, know, the majority of us were still uh, active as we were uh, in school, and we're all enthused about helping our community. That's the big thing. Yeah, we feel as one. Right now, I have been supervising. I work at Hoffinger's Industry. What we do, we actually make swimming pools for the uh, for people's backyards in ground. Uh, and I'm a supervisor guy. I work in the family pool department, and I've been there for the last 13 years. 13 years. Family, tell us about your family. Well, I have uh, I have been married for 37 years. I have three children, and I have 35 grandchildren. What? Yeah, 35 yeah. grand. 35 grand. So yeah. Cool. I have a lot of tw my boys make twins. Twins. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. That is amazing. I know you had to buy a lot of gifts for the holidays. Ooh. I have a savings account. I, know, I have right? a Christmas club. <laughs> a Christmas club, of That's right. That's right. That's right. We finally got you here. We're so we're glad to have you. Thank you. Yes, so much. This is Miss Diane Barefoot Sims, and she right now you currently live in. Um, I'm living here in Marble. Right here in Marble. Come to Marble. Marble's got a good house, a quiet little town. That's right. A lot of loving people. So some of them are going towards Memphis. You know, leaving. Um, I guess leaving Brinkley. Right. Right. Or oh, going to the casino. You got to pass. Casino, Highway 49 yeah. on Marble, Arkansas. Come on yeah. through. Well, yeah. send somebody else in here to talk to you. All right, Diane. I surely will. We're, we're bye. All right, bye. Oh, oh. Oh, it's so fun. All right, guys, this is our 40th class, class reunion at Marble, Arkansas, is so what we're celebrating. So I know you can hear the music in the background. I don't know if you can hear me that well, but we got it going on. We've had so much food. I am stuffed. We had, um, I can't even name what our menu was. Come on in, Wayne. Yeah, this is my classmate here, Wayne Wells. Now, Wayne is going to tell you a little bit about himself and what he does. So we're going to put the microphone on. Now, Wayne, you live where now? I live in Birmingham, Alabama. All right. Yeah. Woo! And he came all the way from Birmingham to celebrate this big 40th uh, yeah. class reunion. Tell him what you do, Wayne. I'm retired from trucking. I was uh, in the military for for nine years, and now I have my business that just got off the ground. It's called uh, Jesus the Carpenter, and I do renovations and uh, build new decks and stuff like that. Oh, that's beautiful, and I love the name of your company, Jesus was a Carpenter. Yes, he was. Yes, he and was. that's why it was hard for a lot of people to believe that he was the Messiah, because he looked common to a lot of people. Yes. Yeah. So that is awesome. Tell me what shout out to your family members. Shout out to Valena Payne, Courtney Wells, Jordan Wells, and I hope y'all see this podcast. All right. Thank you so much. 40 years. 40 years. Long years. Arkansas. What does this mean for you? It's like a milestone. Uh, uh, just how far we come from and uh, where we are now. And to see so many of our classmates that made a successful path. And it was so many different avenues that people took, but I see us all as being uh, something for others to look at. Well, I'm the classmate right there, Mr. Raleigh Coleman. Hello. Hey, Raleigh. Hey, hi. It's so good to see you. Like, like. Yeah, 40 years, we just, you know, hey, it went, time went like that, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Man, yeah. amazing. God yeah. is good. Tell all the them, time. Tell them. What does it mean to you to be here after 40 years and you get to celebrate with us tonight? Well, you know, I, I, I'm at a loss for words. Me you know, too. this is my first time yes. seeing classmates in 40 years. 40 years. 40 years. And, 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 you know, in time, you know, for some, um, we've lost some along the way. But just to come back and just see how we all came from the same dirt. 
yes. and how we out in the world doing doing good things. Doing good and, things. And, 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 and honoring our parents and the matriarchs and all those people yes. that went before us. Yes. You know, and uh, we all started out together, but we all had a dream just to go out and 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 and, and just earn our way. Yes. And uh, you know, and I just come back and I the kids don't have that. They don't have what we had. Yeah, no, they don't have that. It's a new day. They, they, you know, they don't have that foundation. We were truly a community. Yes. We were a community. And uh, a small town, but we supported one another. We had the parent support, had the teacher support, and you were expected to go out and do well. Yes. And and, and to... Uh, they pushed us. Yes. Yeah. And they encouraged us. They encouraged us. Yeah. And they held us accountable. They held us accountable. That's true. So I'm thankful. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm thankful being from Little Town Mall. Me too. But the Bible said, don't despise small beginnings. Do not despise small yes. beginnings. And tell them what you have done. You served in the military. Go ahead. Well, I... Yes, uh, you know, I started out, uh, I I went to, you know, my dream story, I went to a wedding in high school. I went to a wedding, and I saw this Marine, and I was captivated. And I, I, I approached the Marine and asked him, how can I become what you are? Yeah. And he told me what I need to do, contact the recruiter, and I did. And here I sat, 40 years later, still in a Marine Corps uniform, 40 years. 26 years active duty, and now since retirement, I've been still giving back in the community at the high school. But the but the military has served me well. Yes. You know, I honored my mother by going go ahead and going to college, yes. obtaining two de two degrees, yes. traveled the world. Yes. Who who would have thought a country boy to be walking with walking with the White House staff? Yes. You know, working at the Pentagon, working at the university. You know, but, uh, but yet, you know, just remain to stay humble. Yeah, at the same time, yeah. you gotta remain humble. Yeah. So, uh, the, uh, um, I'm glad to have had the opportunity to serve this great country because America gives us a lot. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, never forgetting the foundation. Okay. Never forgetting where I'm from. You know, okay. and uh, so yes. Amazing. You want to give a shout out to anybody before you go? Oh, uh, if my daughter's watching, I have a daughter. Her name is Carly, and uh, my daughter's one of my greatest supporters, and uh, she makes me want to be a better person. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. so uh, uh, so Carly, that is of you. And, uh, and to all my siblings, all my siblings, you know, I love you. This is one of my beloved classmates. I love her so much. We went to UAPB Mini together. Mira. Yes, we graduated high school and college really? together. Yes. Two-time graduates, man. Right. I'm emotional. <laughs> Darlene, tell us what you do. Well, um, I am a vocational rehabilitation counselor. Manager, I manage the uh, Little Rockfield office. We work with individuals with disabilities to go back to work, to uh, get retrained, or uh, we also help individuals who are elderly to uh, maintain the independence in the home and in the community. We also help individuals who are uh, working, who want to maintain their employment, retain employment. They may need some type of assessment for work, and we do those type of services as well. And this is in what city? Arkansas, I mean, Little Rock. Little Rock, Arkansas. Did you hear what she just said? This is a success in itself. All my <laughs> classmates, I'm so proud of them. They're doing big things. So smart, so intelligent. And we come from a little town. Hey, it doesn't show. Size doesn't matter. No, it does Size not. Size doesn't matter. Does not. You want to give a shout out to your family? I want to shout out to my uh my grandbabies, Ari and Ava Owens, to Drayton Owens, my son, uh, to my Little Rockville office, Ari uh,
God has blessed me to have two boys, 42 and 20. Yeah. Um, about a 22 year span. I got four grandkids, and uh, I'm just loving life now. Loving life. Yes. That's what that's all about. Yes. Amen. Doing big things. Yes. We all started right here in Marvel together. It did. I and mean, I'm so proud of this class. I'm proud of you. Amen. Love you. Love you, girl. Mwah. So proud of you. This is my beautiful classmate. Before you go, oh, yeah, this is a podcast. 
Okay, okay. This is our 40th class reunion. Yes. Time to get all our classmates to give a shout out. This is Clarence Watson. Yes. It's always a great, great <laughs> classmate. I love all my classmates. Yes. This is Tammy Jones. Tell them what you do. Yes. Tell them what you do. Oh, okay. So I uh, was in the Air Force, did 21 years in the Air Force. I uh, did emergency management. Now I uh, got retired at the Air Force, jumped into uh, safety. So I've been a safety manager for uh, about the last 17 years. Last so. 17 years. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And he came from Marble, Marble Arkansas. Like 1,300 people. Santa. Yeah, Santa, yeah. But it's just, you know. Yeah, you know, it doesn't go by the size. No, it, right? it no. It's always opportunities for everybody, no matter where you come from or as long as you apply yourself and you do what you do, you can get there. You can do, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Any shout outs to anybody before you go? Oh, you know what? Uh, just want to say, hey, you know, uh, just good to be here, class of 83. You know, we always say free in 83, man, I tell you. That's where we at. We came a long way, got a lot of talented people. This lady right here, man, off the chain, off the chain. Kudos. Yes, just doing it. She's doing it. I love my class. Yes, baby. thank you. Thank you. Oh, I right. like Yeah. All right. Thank God. Yes, yes. Glad to have you. Haven't seen her in how, what, since high school, since we walked off that stage. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, here we are, what, 40 years later. Crazy, you know? crazy. This but, is Clarence Watson. Yes, Clarence Watson. And where are you going? You're headed back to? I'm headed back uh, to Little Rock. Little Rock. Head to Little Rock. Head yeah, actually, Jacksonville, Jacksonville, right outside Little Rock. Right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm always going to be E. They always call me E. All right. <laughs> we love you. Yes. Safe Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Yeah. Talk to me. <laughs> Martin, tell them what do you do for a living? I'm a steel fabricator with Asco Steel. Well, WW Asco Steel. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll leave this way so people can see it better. There you go. They fabricate buildings. Uh, we can build a uh, range of stadiums. Uh, bunch of stadiums. Uh, there we go. attended UAPB yeah. and uh, then I did some military time yeah. in the U.S. Army and so I landed in Memphis, Tennessee uh -huh. as a uh, supervisor for a chemical packaging company. All right. Yes. Amazing. So, you want to send a shout out to anybody before you go? I want to send a shout out to the class of 83. We all look at marvelous. Thank you. All right. It's good to see you. Yeah. Are you traveling back tonight? No, going down tomorrow. Okay. I know she remembers me. Oh, yeah. Your mama hugged when we were Yeah, they still kicking it. They getting older, but they still kicking it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I told them you're saying hello. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank Yeah, I'm getting ready to come out soon, so we need 
So be looking for it. Be coming out soon. So. <laughs> Anything else you want to say to them about your success, Oh, I got more coming up. I got a feature film coming up. Yeah, feature film coming up. She was on, um, you can see her movie on, one of the previous ones on Tubi, right? Life's okay, yeah. Yeah, that is. Life's okay. Life's okay. She gave me a t-shirt I always wear when I'm working out. I love my t-shirt. Last week. 